Okay. Hi, Tonic. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, you're a former patient of mine and someone who knows pelvic pain personally. Um, and you've agreed to do an interview for us today just to um, tell us a little bit about your background, some three key things that help to get you out of where you are, uh, a message to your past self, and then a message to anyone who's going through this at the moment. So would you like to introduce yourself and a, a little bit of history to your case and just yeah, bring everyone up to speed? Yeah, thanks, Carl. So my name's Tomek. I live in North London. I'm 46. Um, I'm, I was, and I think I am back, a, a keen athlete, keen sort of sportsman. Uh, I did triathlons. Um, I work in a bank, sitting job. I'm an auditor. Um, yeah, it all started two years ago, at about this time, uh, pre-Christmas, two years ago, um, when I was coming back with my kids and my wife from the park and I felt wow the pain in my sort of you know pelvic region um and then sort of straight to A&E uh thinking what is happening happening they the guy you know the guys in A&E said this is uh this is definitely something to do uh um uh, it's a, it, it's this condition uh, to do with your pelvic floor, but you'll, we'll, we'll give you antibiotics and straight, straight, uh, straight, you're on antibiotics for three weeks. So it was getting worse and worse, pelvic pains, going to the toilet, um, uh, urination, uh, bowel movements, sitting for longer than 10 minutes, couldn't do that, couldn't do that. I, I was in a dark place. I was, I was in a dark spot. Uh, it was, you know, um, and, and then I thought, you know, pan panic, slightly panicking, going through the internet, uh, going through the web, finding different, uh, different websites, uh, some very alarming, thinking, oh, that, and that didn't help. Reading that stuff really didn't help my condition, you know, the pain levels going up. Um, at, during the, that time, it's lasted about two or three weeks when I was looking for for support. During that time, I, I did visit, you know, top doctors in London, North London, urologists, again, prescribing more antibiotics. I uh, had some procedures done, one of them colonoscopy um, and so on. Um, everything clear, everything clear, uh, nothing sinister happening there um doesn't did that didn't really sort of answer my questions um sort of and i'll maybe move on to move on to the key features of my recovery the three key features i'm an auditor um uh, so in order to analyze and assesses things and make sure you know tries to understand what's the root cause of a symptom and that's what we do and it's usually a bad root you know something bad happening and then the, the the symptom being a bad thing right and 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 for me it was like okay definitely there's something bad you know there's definitely something bad happening i need to understand the root cause need to analyze need to get the answers and only when i started getting those answers being you know one of them you know, speaking to you carl having the first initial sessions with you um was that i became calmer you know i i, I was calmer i sort of it was the first definitely the first step you know that you know this could be triggered you know these pains could be triggered by this and that you know and and sort of lifestyle and could be diet and so on that brought you know that that brought a lot of calmness into my life at the beginning and then i think the next point was so that was definitely the first point very significant point the foundation of the recovery the second point was the second feature was you know there are finding that path to recovery the different sort of is it is it diet is it is it movement you know is it mindfulness or is it a combination different thing or other or other things you know um, and i think for me that was critical really to understand i know for for a fact that stretching didn't help you know at the beginning you know there was something you know you need to do stretching and i read it somewhere first on the website and I was like, oh the pains are getting worse um that didn't help um then, however, you know, mindfulness, uh, different movements, not the movements I do. I said I'm a triathlete, so I usually do running, I do cycling. I said, what, what about, you know, doing something else, you know, rotation? Um, that definitely helped. Um, I went to, to a park with my kids, a uh, skate park with my kids, you know, and we did a bit of skateboarding. That was the first time I did it, you know, balancing different. 
that was you know that was improving the condition uh and i was thinking wow that that this is good so so finding the path i think it's important you know what is your recovery path and that was for me it was a combination of diet you know change my diets um initially very dramatically nearly mill i was like a militant sort of militantly sort of i'm not going to eat dairy and so on i came back to dairy a bit but i'm still not d- doing a lot of dairy not you know not doing a lot of uh meat uh red meat especially you know so i'll move on later on you know to what you know what benefits long term that has on my health and my well-being but but at that point in time you know discovering what what is the what is the path was critical so um and doing movement and coming back to that movement because you know as a keen athlete i wanted to move um more uh doing triathlons doing tr- uh, run uh, uh, running on the track and so on so so that's the second uh feature and i think the third one is you know there's ups and downs uh during the recovery process so initially you know a couple of hours without pain wow that's amazing and then after two or three hours it comes back again and then it's so discouraging you know you're discouraged you're thinking oh no this is back again so i think being patient for me was 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 important you know being patient and and thinking you know this this is getting better it's it's like small steps you know long you know today you know the without pain it's i don't know it's 15 minutes tomorrow will be 20 minutes you know i'm i'm at a stage now where there's days without pain and it has moved through in the last two years it was two years right so but it's you've got those that there'll be periods where they think oh no i'm back back and in the black really dark place it is going to change so i think you know just just being conscious of that so yeah so those three things really the first one understand what is the root cause second you know different pathways uh, recovery pathway and third you know managing those down those those worst periods right those those uh, periods where you, you you're back into sort of you think zero but it's not really zero you're you know you're you're you're, you're progressing but it's those those three points which helped me in my um, sort of recovery i think mm, that's fantastic thank you tom and, and really really key and integral um components to full recovery as well is is having that understanding you know what is going on why am i getting these things is it yep. i'm being told by the gps and neurologists is there something else that's going on are there other contributing factors learning to manage it learning to give learning to take back control what can i do to make myself feel better what can i do more of you said some rotations and various activities what should i be doing less of well maybe we we got you to go and do and you're right so i was quite strict with you in your diet to begin with i'm well aware of that and there are definitely a few times i'm like well can i try this and what about this but you stuck with it and and you've actually as you said you kind of maintain some of those um changes to your lifestyle and, and diet as well and then knowing that there are going to be darker times and knowing that there are going to be lighter times and navigating them well You said it so eloquently, when we do have symptoms that do come back to us, it can put us back in that dark place. And that's not nice. So learning to navigate that um, and knowing by viewing the bigger picture that there is change that's occurring. So yeah, three really key cornerstones to recovery. What would you say now, if you could give yourself a message to Tomek two years ago, what do you think that message might be? You will recover you know, you will recover, you will recover, definitely, um, you will, you'll be able to manage those flare-ups a lot quicker, a um, lot better, um, you, the thing which is happening to you now, well, I'm, I'm talking about myself two years ago, the thing that is happening to you now is, it's actually not maybe all bad, it's not all bad, because, mm there are long last uh, long uh, term changes to your lifestyle which would benefit you or lifestyle or your you know your life so yeah, so awesome. the things for me is a different outlook on you know different family family wise no not not putting so much you know pressure on my work my self ambition and so on i have a slightly different view now of my career i wouldn't be able to yeah, it's hard to it's, it's a tough one right but but it I wouldn't be able, I think, without that moment to reflect and think, you know, that get that moment of of of, of dark or sort of place or 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 slightly, you know, uncomfortable and pain gave me that that moment that you need to reflect. You need to step back a bit, think about, you know, where are you? Why are you, you know, why are you objectives? What are your objectives in life? Um, where's your family? Where's your friends? You know, reconnecting with my friends, 
diet um again um sort of making you know just just for, for myself the, the the diet i think you know a, I, I then spoke to one of the um uh i i was one i went to one of the doctors um uh, he was who's uh looking at you know after the colonoscopy and so on and 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 he said well you know what what diet do you have i'm like i don't really have a diet you know it's this and that he's like you know dairy and you know meat you know don't don't overestimate how much good you have done with what you've you know introduced you know um and i'm trying to keep with that but it's but you know i think i think going back at the the, the you know two years ago the key message would be you know as i said you know you're going to recover this is this is something which you to some extent you'll benefit in long term <laughs> it's it's a it is a it's a it's a, i know it is a tough message to some of you guys out there who you're not experiencing this uh now but long term it there are some benefits definitely yeah, it may not feel like it at the time. And no. as you say, if you're talking to yourself two years ago, your your past self may be saying to your current self, "What? The, how is this going to benefit me? How am I going to feel good? Like, what, what good is going to come from this? And it can yes. not feel like any good's going to come from it. It will definitely time. come back. Yeah, it will be the, the good, you know, as I said, you know, changing your the out the, the the view of your relationships with with other others, the um the friends. Um not being so strong, not hard on yourself in, in terms of when there's, you know, in, in the company at your, when you're doing things, even sports, I've put, I, I had like really, very challenging sports sort of objectives for myself. And I thought, you know, I'm a 46, just let's just calm down a bit, you know, let's not be top of the pack there. Maybe mid is fine, you know, or, you know, when you're running, let's say a 10 K, I don't want to be top at the moment. I want to be comfortably middle and uh and maybe sometime you know win uh win one of the sort of 1k races but let's net, let's not be over ambitious you know and some things and 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 yeah that 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 reflection helped me definitely mm, yeah so i'm hearing being realistic and being kind and being patient to yourself um that's brilliant thank you tomic what, what about so if someone else is hearing this at the moment and um, they are maybe where you are two years ago. I'm guessing some of the messaging to them might be some of the similar messages you might give to yourself, but is there anything else you wish to add to that as well? So yeah, someone who's hearing this for the first time and, and just at the start of their recovery or their journey. Yeah, so as a, yeah, definitely there's support out there to help you guys support and help. Mm. Sort of, so, and, and, and um, I, I would say, you know, opening, opening up as i said at the beginning to your friends to your family about the condition you have is is a is it makes you calmer it relieves uh relieves the symptoms for me that personally worked um you will find your you know the the the, the path to recovery and everyone has a different path we're all different <laughs> so um and um you know, I, I, I think, you know, to small, cherish the small, the small changes, the small positives. If it's change, you know, if it's changing, you're going for a walk and you're feeling, oh, actually, this is good, you know, just cherish that and, and, and build on that. It won't happen overnight, the change of, of you really, really, you know, total relief from pain. But um, I think that definitely, you know, ch cherish those small things, make sure that, uh, you have them in your mind and 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 then uh, build up on build on them. Yeah. What a lovely message. Yeah. Recognize those times when things are actually, hey, this is quite nice. I'm, I'm okay. And cherish them. Often we dismiss them and think, oh, I need to get there. I need to get to recovery right away. But yeah. it is and I journey, think and I it? think also and I think also a good 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 thing is to award yourself like give, give a pride, you know, if you're if you're doing well, have that, you know. Don't mm. be so strict on your diet. Sometimes, you know, have that, have that chocolate yeah. cake, or uh, have that coffee, have that, you know, beer. Um, go for a, you know, gear, beer in the uh, in the pub. So, um, not to be too, too strong, you know, too tough on yourself from the beginning, you know, because it's not. It, you need, and and it does help awarding yourself. It, I I found that it does help. Those small things help. You're feeling better about yourself. Uh, the body's feeling better. Your mind is feeling better. So. Very wise words. Well, thank you once again, Tomek. It's been a real pleasure catching up. Thank you for your input today. 
I know many men out there will find this absolutely priceless. So kudos to you. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you as well. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, Carl.